Viral AI ads are taking over, and chances are you've seen one of those sleek, cinematic videos made using Google VEO3. But what's behind them? It's a technique called JSON prompting, and it's not magic. It's a strategy. In this tutorial, I'm going to break down exactly how I use this Google VEO3 JSON prompt hack to generate powerful ad-style videos that can easily pass for $100,000 productions, all on autopilot. From luxury brands to bold character visuals, the possibilities are wild. I'll show you real examples, explain why JSON prompting works so well for ad generation, and most importantly, give you the exact prompts I used. This isn't about hype, it's about creative structure. JSON prompting simply helps you control your outputs in a smarter way, letting you build multiple styles, brands, and moods without guesswork. Want access to my ready-to-use prompts? Join my WhatsApp channel using the link in the description. That's where I drop all the exclusive goodies. Hit that like, subscribe, turn on notification bell, and let's jump into the tutorial that could change the way you create AI videos forever. All right, let's kick things off with the unboxing style videos. To make this work, you'll need access to the Google VEO3 model. I'm using Google Flow in this tutorial, which is completely free to access. Once you're in Google Flow, select the text to video option. Don't use image to video for this because it won't give you the same structured results. Then, switch the model to VEO3. This version supports advanced prompting formats like JSON. And for video mode, choose VEO3 fast if you're looking to save on credits. It's a smart option for quick prototyping without compromising too much on quality. Now for the fun part, prompting. I'll be using a prompt I call iPhone Product Launch Demo, and you'll find all my prompts linked in a Google Doc inside my WhatsApp channel. Check the description for the invite link. While the video renders, let's talk about JSON prompting. It's not some mystical hack. It's a structured way to tell the AI exactly what to generate. Scene layout, camera motion, lighting, setting, style, and more. Think of it like giving the AI a storyboard instead of a vague sentence. Most people type things like toolbox explodes and expect cinema level output. That almost never works. JSON style prompting creates clarity. It guides the model through each beat of your video, step by step. Now, in this example, the model struggled a bit with rendering iPhone product launch accurately. That's likely because it's a newer character that the model isn't fully trained on yet. Still, what it created was visually creative and far more dynamic than a standard one-line prompt. Now, let me show you how you can actually create prompts like this yourself using ChatGPT and Google Flow. This is where things get exciting because you're not just watching what others are doing. You're learning how to build your own custom AI videos that look like polished product ads. I didn't create the custom ChatGPT chatbot, but I used one that's already been trained specifically to generate detailed VEO3 JSON prompts. You'll find the link to it inside the document I've shared in the description. Once you're in, you can simply ask something like, give me a JSON VEO3 prompt for a product reveal of a smartwatch. The bot will instantly return a structured prompt that breaks down the camera angles, lighting style, background elements, and animation pacing. This makes the process incredibly easy. Even if you're completely new to this, you don't have to know how to code or structure JSON yourself. Just copy the prompt, paste it into Google Flow, 
and let the AI take care of the rest. And if you want to make small adjustments, maybe change the background to a desk setup or swap the product for something else, you can simply edit the text and run it again. One prompt I used recently was for a wireless earbuds unboxing. The video began with a sleek black box sitting on a wooden table. The camera slowly zoomed in as the lid slid open and a soft light revealed the earbuds inside. Then, one earbud floated upward with labels pointing to its features like noise cancellation and 12-hour battery. It felt clean, professional, and something you'd expect from a brand like Sony or JBL. Another one I tried was a beauty product reveal. It featured a minimal white background with soft golden light fading in from the side. The video started with a closed makeup compact resting on a vanity table. As the camera moved around it, the lid opened gently to reveal a shimmering highlighter inside. A small sparkle animation followed the brush as it lightly touched the product. The entire look felt premium and Instagram-ready, like an ad for Fenty Beauty or Glossier. I also generated a sneaker spotlight video. It opened with the shoes placed in a shoe box. Then, the box unfolded into a spinning platform. As the shoes rotated in mid-air, the lighting changed to highlight the material texture, sole design, and brand logo. Background music and energy match the style you'd see in a Nike or Adidas launch video. There was another one I really liked which featured a kitchen blender in a full cooking scene. The video showed fruits and vegetables being placed on the counter, followed by a hand dropping them into the blender. The lid closed with a click, and then the camera panned out as the blender lit up and began mixing. It looked like a real ad you'd see on Amazon or in a sponsored YouTube video. I even did a skincare serum demo. It began with a soft towel background, a dropper bottle placed front and center. As a drop of serum fell in slow motion from the pipette, the video added soft particle effects and a subtle glow. Then the background faded into a model's hand applying the product, followed by gentle camera transitions showcasing its ingredients and benefits. The end result looked just like something you'd expect from The Ordinary or L'Oreal. Each of these ideas worked because the prompt was clearly structured. That's the power of JSON-style prompting. Instead of writing vague ideas like, make a cool ad for a product, you're giving the AI detailed instructions. You're telling it what to show, when to show it, and how to move the camera through the scene. That's what makes the results feel cinematic and professionally edited, even though they were made entirely with AI. Sometimes it takes a few tries to get it just right. There have been times when the lighting wasn't exactly how I imagined, or a transition felt off. 
but after one or two tweaks, the end result always ends up far better than what I started with. If you want access to the exact prompts I used for all of these examples, check the description and join my WhatsApp channel. Inside, you'll find a full Google Doc with everything I used in this tutorial and a lot more. You can copy, remix, or build on top of them to fit your own projects. I'm using ChatGPT and Google Flow for everything you've seen so far. It's completely free, very straightforward, and doesn't limit your creativity. But if you already have access to OpenArt, that platform also works well and supports the same VEO3 model. The difference is mostly about preference and accessibility. So don't just watch. Try it for yourself. Think about the products you already have around you. A smartwatch, a water bottle, a phone case, a bottle of cologne, even a laptop stand. Pick one and imagine how you would present it if you had a $100,000 ad budget. Then write that into a prompt. With this technique, the results will surprise you. Let me know in the comments what you think about this tutorial.